Hey bread chicas, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, as you can see from the title, we have a huge Dollar Tree haul. So I didn't go to Dollar Tree the last time I went uh, grocery shopping. And so I decided I would go today. Today is Monday. I haven't been to a Dollar Tree on a Monday in a little while. So I was interested to see what kind of stuff they had in store. My Dollar Tree that I go to says that they get their shipments on Monday, but usually they don't have anything new out until the next few days because it does take time to stock it. So going in the morning on Monday has never been successful, but today I went in the afternoon. So I went there around four o'clock today and I think it worked out in my favor because I found a lot of good stuff, you guys. I found a lot of new name brands. I'm talking about name brands like eco tools girl yes multiple items i found just tons of new things that i've never seen before at dollar tree so i'm very excited to share with you guys what i picked up for today's haul so if you're interested in seeing what i found then please keep watching the first thing i want to show you was this little basket i actually have this same basket in both of my kids rooms in a pink and a blue so they've had this design before but they just now got it in a neutral color so this is a very nice little gray waste basket that i can have in my room because i'm always needing to put trash down below and it's gonna look perfect because i have a gray carpet and i actually have this which is also from Dollar Tree and it's gray, but this is just a nice little gray waste basket. And I think it's so cool that they got it in a neutral gray color. They had a whole new section with a bunch of new organizers. I wanted to take a video clip of it, but I wasn't able to because there was a person stalking the shelf as I was looking at it. So I just went ahead and grabbed one of these and then left because I don't really need any more bins. So I just picked this guy up and I love this color. So if you're looking for neutrals, go girl that's a nice waste basket look at this receipt <laughs> look at this receipt bro i'm pretty sure i got 75 items so it's gonna be a long one grab a drink if you ain't ready yet girl grab you a coffee or a tea or something and a snack because this is gonna be a long video i'm just telling you right now so let's get into the fun beauty items because i know that's what you're waiting for i found several eco tools items this is so exciting you guys this is a name brand that you can find in walmart and in ulta so i don't know how much this retails for i will try to find it online and maybe plug in a picture here so you guys can see but i got these for a dollar each it is three mask remover sponges for a quick mess free removal this is made with natural cellulose to wipe away masks and it's spa quality. It's recyclable, it's cruelty free, and it's tree free paper. Very eco friendly, hence eco tools. So very, very cute. I know that I may, I do masks on my face, like the clay ones, and I can never get the rest off, especially with my nails. I don't wanna get my finger, I don't want it to get under my fingernails. So I thought this was a good idea. It has gentle exfoliation. It's 100% vegan, fragrance-free, latex-free. And yeah, this just helps you take off your clay mask. You know, sometimes it's stubborn to get it off. And I was like, why not? It's a dollar. Hello. It's eco tools. Like what? So here's the fun part of this haul. We are getting so close to 10K, you guys. My next goal for subscribers is 10,000 subscribers. So... I bought a lot of things in this haul to go into the giveaway. I will be doing a 10K giveaway because I actually am going to be buying a PO box. So I will be able to send you guys something. That's why I'm holding off. So one of these is for you. One is for me and one is for you, girl. I got you. So please, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe, help my channel reach 10,000 subscribers, and then you can enter into the giveaway. And again, I got two, one for me and one for you. So this is another EcoTools product, and this is a contour perfecting applicator. Best with bronzers and highlighters for precise contouring and blending. Makes contouring easy, it's eco-friendly. I'm not gonna repeat everything, but apparently you use this to contour. So like with cream contour, I guess. 
So it was pretty interesting. I guess this is like a handle. It's almost like it's a mini brush with a sponge, but it's not a brush, it's a sponge. And you contour your face. So I'll try to use it. I'll see if it works. I do like Eco Tools uh, sponges for makeup. I've used them before, but I've never used these particular products. So I'm interested to see how this works. And the last Eco Tools product that I came across was this cute little thing. Look at how cute this is so precious so these are like mini blenders and i guess it's for color correcting so there's an orange one a peach one a lavender one and a green one and it's best with color correcting concealers for an even flawless complexion made with eco foam technology so i feel like i wouldn't purchase these you know if they were regular priced um but because it was at dollar tree of course i had to get it and like see what it was all about because eagle tools is just such a good brand i just picked it up because it was a dollar of course one of these is for my babies you guys and the other one is for me so i will make a, a video coming up soon trying out these products with my foundation just to see how it goes but yeah they're just so itty bitty little tiny sponges they're just like so cute and i don't even know if they're gonna work because they're like mini mini so we'll see how they expand when you put them under water and we will test them out in a video. So stay tuned for that. It's random, but I got another one of these non-slip rug underlays because these are way too small. They're the size of like a kitchen rug or like a doormat. So I got another one to put under my big rug, hoping that too, it would be fine. So I got another one of those. Okay, let's look at some makeup that I picked up. I didn't pick up too much makeup. I didn't really see uh like tons of name brand makeup not anything new i really tried to pick up things that i've never picked up before so i went ahead and got this la colors conceal and correct in the shade green and it con it corrects redness so you guys know i've been complaining about my redness lately so i don't have a green corrector i've tried them before I didn't really like care for them, but I'm willing to give it another try. And especially I got it so that I could try it with those Eco Tools Color Corrector Mini Sponges. So I got the green one because I'm really only concerned about uh, redness. So I picked that up, but usually I always come across this in Dollar Tree. So I don't think it's too hard to come by. And another thing I picked up is this LA Colors Love em Lip Balm. This is the shade Cherished. And it's just this really cute little lip balm. In the middle, it's clear, like it has a moisturizing part to it. And the outer edges has a tint of beige, like a nude lipstick. So it looks super cute and I hadn't seen it before. So I figured I'd pick it up and try it. And then I figured I would get these lip scrubs because these were out around the time that the LA Colors lip oil was out and then they disappeared. And so now they're back and I was like, mm, I'm going to get it because I never tried it. And to be honest with you, I've never used a lip scrub like in my life. I don't know why. I've just never used one. So I was like, let's use it. So this is the LA Colors Lip Scrub in Sweet. And it's a red color. And I'm going to try it out and see what a lip scrub is like. You know, I don't know. A lot of people swear by using it before they apply their makeup. And I don't know. Sometimes I have like dry lips so i just want to try it but i did get one for me and one for you guys i got a ton of like bath no not a ton of bath items <laughs> i got a ton of like hair items i know that's for sure but i got a few bath items and skincare as well so here is a skincare thing i got i've been using my um bolero hydrating cucumber aloe gel of this the facial hydrating gel but this is the first time that I'm seeing a watermelon aloe facial gel hydrator by Bolero. And somebody said that this one was really good. So I wanted to pick it up. It's so cute. I love the packaging and I love me some watermelon and I love the gel that I'm already using. So I wanted to pick this one up to see if I liked it just as much because it's the same thing, but it's a really good moisturizer. I like to use this during the day and at night especially when my skin is super dry they had a brand new box of bath bombs this is a really nice size bath bomb and i don't know if this is greenbrier i don't believe it is it says onyx brands inc north little rock 
yeah so i don't think this is greenbrier and this was very new to my store i had never seen it before and this is a strawberry cupcake bath bomb sweetheart sprinkles and yeah look there's little sprinkles on the top like how cute is that little sprinkles on the top and the rest of it is pink so i got two of them my daughter wanted one and i'm gonna have one and they had a big box of them so next time if they have more maybe i should get one for the giveaway but i just thought that was super cute okay this is really weird this is right next to the bath stuff um i'm like <laughs> this is embarrassing okay so you know when you work on your feet mostly customer service people will understand where i'm coming from you work on your feet a lot and your socks and your shoes are on for like 10 hours a day and you're sweating in your feet right and then like you come home and you take off your shoes and your socks and your feet kind of itch a little bit but like not athlete's foot it's not always athlete's foot i have had athlete's foot several times from sweating in my sock for so long but anyways yeah i just got this foot powder spray <laughs> i'm like so tmi and embarrassing but this is uh extra care foot powder spray soothes cools and comforts with cornstarch super soothing helps control wetness fights odors all day because we don't like stinky feet around here so i got this to put on to my feet before i go to work so hopefully my feet won't sweat as much and they won't get all stinky um yeah so i don't think this is greenbrier correct me if i'm wrong i've never seen this before but distributed by rejoice international corp so i don't believe this is greenbrier and yeah if your feet are stinky or your man's feet are stinky just spray him up with this or just spray his shoes with it um i feel like i might use this like in my shoes too sometimes we get stinky even if we're clean okay you can't help it it's summertime it's texas and it's like 100 degrees here so i'm gonna show you the rest of the bath items that i got so we can like kind of go in categories but i decided to get two of these um somebody said this was really good and so this is a natural bath sponge this is that april bath and shower brand from dollar tree and it's got this little rope handle and i don't know this was really cute i got one for me and one for my husband um i'm gonna try it out like because i i'm gonna show you in a second i got some body washes but i like that it's a natural one so it just seems like it's gonna be a little bit more soft on my skin so i got two of these guys i found this which i believe is new i've never seen this before uh let me know if you've seen this before but this is a full size arm and hammer ultra max with baking soda for advanced odor control three in one formula body wash shampoo and conditioner and this is for men i believe this is targeted for men it smells like a man it smells like a sexy man mm -hmm. it smells like a good sexy man so i got this because maybe hubby would try it he likes uh, the body washes that smell like that sport smell uh that it's called cool water so this is just a really good value, you guys. Like one dollar for this brand, 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 brand name product. Um, yeah. So this is what twelve ounces. Really, really nice. This was also pretty exciting because I've never seen this before, and it just stuck out to me like a sore thumb because these bottles are huge, girl. These bottles are huge. This is 24 fluid ounces for $1. And I've never tried Dollar Tree body washes before, so I really hope that these work out for me. But it doesn't say Greenbrier. It says Made in Canada. Evergreen Consumer Brands. So it's not Dollar Tree. And it's cruelty-free, which is always good. So I got two different scents. And it says 50% bonus. So I guess these are bigger than they normally are. So this is the Silkiance Creme, rich and creamy body wash. Relaxing lavender and vanilla. And you know I love lavender. I love me some lavender. And I like this lavender because, now let me know if you know what I'm talking about. There's a fake lavender, which still smells good, right? 
And then there's that real, that real like almost chamomile, chamomile mixed with lavender smell, that Bath and Body Works lavender smell that's like a real essential oil, you know? And this is like the real lavender. It says lavender vanilla, but it smells like lavender chamomile in my opinion, but I love it because it smells like a real essential oil. So this could actually make you relax and I always need to relax. <laughs> so um, I bought one of these and I think the packaging is really, really cute. And I figured I could use that to shower with at nighttime. And I picked up the hydrating cocoa butter because my skin is always dry. So I figured why not pick this one up? These are just really nice, you guys. This is heavy. Like this is a big, I don't know if you're grasping like how big this bottle is, but this smells so good. Just like cocoa butter. Yummy. I like smelling like cocoa butter in the summertime. So those were really good buys and that's why I bought those loofahs. I also decided to pick up some facial wipes. Um, I've never seen these there, but this is a Dollar Tree brand. This is Greenbrier, but isn't this such a cute packaging? It's like teal and green. And these are charcoal facial wipes. Uh, detoxifying draws out dirt and oil and you get 30 sheets and it is good for oily skin. So I figured I'd try it. I always get a little weary when I try Dollar Tree facial products. I always get a little bit scared, but I will let you guys know if these work. Um, I thought this would be good for like those days that I don't wear makeup, but I feel like I just need to like clean myself like midday, like I could bring these to work. I don't wear makeup to work anymore. Um, so I could just like wipe myself off and like refresh myself from all the germs and the dirt and the all the stuff from the environment that gets on your face. So I really wanna try these out and I'll let you guys know if I like them. Picked up another one of these Dermacil lotions cause I'm almost out and I really, really love this lotion. I really love this lotion for my very dry skin. It really, really works. So I picked up another one. And I wanted to update you guys on those really cute pink and cheetah nail filers that I got from Dollar Tree in the last haul. I don't know if it was the last haul or the haul before that. They're terrible. They're really terrible. I think it's by Sassy and Chic. Yeah, they're not good. So they're just, they bend. They're not strong cardboard, you know? So I found this one by Diamond Cosmetics. And this is a legit brand, Diamond Cosmetics. I feel like you can find this in Walgreens or CVS or something like that. But Diamond Cosmetics Wide Board Grinder professional quality coarse and medium grit so i got this bad boy and i have never seen this in dollar tree before and that's a really good quality nail file i can just tell look that's strong i can just tell by looking at it i also went ahead and picked up one of the wet and wild contour brushes because i'm always talking about this brush i figured i could put this in the giveaway for you guys um because they had a lot of them there they just restocked them and i use this brush every single day it is such a good brush for bronzing and contouring you could even use it for blush if you want but this is a really really good uh brush and i'm always mentioning it and i feel like you guys should have it so i'm putting that in the giveaway for y'all and here's another new item i would never seen before but this is a diabetes foot cream skin protectant and this is a green briar item i've never seen this though before never let me know if you've seen it before but i feel like this is brand new and this relieves dry cracked skin soothes skin discomfort and it's fragrance free so my heels and my feet are hella dry okay hella hella dry so this is for diabetics and diabetics always have super dry skin so i figured if it works for them you know maybe it'll work for me it feels basically the same as my dermacil one if i had to give a first impression right now and you get more product in the dermacil one I feel like the Dermacil is probably still going to be better, but I will update you guys in a vlog. But I used that Dermacil one uh, from Dollar Tree on my feet, and it's, like, so good. Now, like, lather it up and put a sock on during the night to make my feet really soft. I believe this is the last makeup item. Um, I got a Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Breeze. Bree yeah, Breeze. 
And I've had this before. So here's what it looks like. I've had this before a long time ago and I just wanted to get it again because it's a very cute little 90s moment. You know in the 90s like frosty lips were like the thing. Like, like frosty lip gloss and lipstick was the thing. Um, and this is that like nude frosty lipstick and it just reminds me so much of the 90s and I absolutely like I die. I love it so much. It's not too, too pigmented, but look at that. Look at that frost. Like, it's so cute. I feel like I can put it on now. I did have another lip color on that's darker, but it is such a cute, nude, little frosty moment. If you wanna be frosty, but you don't wanna be like too out there and too obvious, then get you this from Dollar Tree Wet n Wild Lipstick in the shade Breeze. It's super cute. Okay, so before I get into the hair stuff, cause it's, I got a lot of hair stuff. I wanna show you a few things I got from the electronics uh, section. I wanted to get more phone cases just because the phone case that I have on right now, it's just a clear plastic one. It's working out so well for me. I just wanted to get a few more because they're a dollar, like why not? So I picked up this one and it looks like a mirror. So super cute, it's just silver and it looks like a mirror. If you ever have to check your makeup, just turn your phone around. So I thought that was cute. And then I got this one, which has like a mandala on it. It's like pink, blue, burgundy, and it's just this little mandala and I thought it was super cute and like boho. And this is the same material as the one that I have on my phone right now. It's just that like silicone plastic and it's clear. So I thought that was super pretty. So I picked that one up. I got some AA batteries because I do not have any more. And then I got, okay, this was so, I have never seen this before. Maybe it's been there, maybe I've just been oblivious, but this is a wide angle smartphone lens. I mean, that's pretty cool to find at the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna have to test this out. Maybe I'll put some pictures on here of with and without using it so you guys can see how it works, but it clips onto your phone. It's easy to use and it works with most smartphones. And I just thought that was really cool. Filming is what I do, taking pictures is what I do, so I figured why not try it for a dollar? Can't go wrong with having more filming accessories. I also found this LED headlamp, which is so cool. Like a headlamp, usually these, it's so funny, like these kinds of things used to be so expensive and now you can find them for a dollar and I just think it's insane. The best part about this, guys, is it includes the batteries. So that's amazing because always check your stuff that that needs batteries if it has it or not and I'm glad that I checked this one already comes with them so I didn't have to buy any it does use button cell batteries and yeah this is a headlamp there's a little button here and this is the little um, so this is the little thing for your head and you hold it like this it clips on, I don't wanna put it all together right at this moment, but here's what it looks like with the on and off button. I have to, oh wait, is this it? Oh, wow, that's pretty bright. So it does a strobe and it does a straight light. That's pretty awesome. So if you are a bike rider, and you're riding your bike at night, you can use this so that people can know where you are and also so you can see, or if you're going on walks, taking your dog on a walk at nighttime. I know a lot of people in Texas like to take their walks at night because it cools down and it's way too hot during the day. I mean, this is so random, a headlamp, but you know what? You never know when you're gonna need something like this. Like, you could read your book. <laughs> You could read a book at night and have a headlamp there and it was a dollar. So that's pretty awesome. All right, y'all, I think we're like halfway done. So wow, we're at 29 minutes. Oh my Lord. Okay, so this whole bag is hair stuff. Let's get into it. 
I was so excited when I saw this stuff, you guys. I'm telling you. They had a whole velvet, like, no, not velvet, like a faux suede hair scrunchie headband line in three different colors. So best believe I got a bunch. Okay, so the first one is this off-white scrunchie, and this is like a faux suede texture. So I got the off-white, one for me and one for my daughter. Of course, I got the pink. One for me and one for my daughter on each of these hair products. So super cute little baby pink scrunchie. I'm always using scrunchies. I like to sleep with my hair in a bun in a scrunchie because I feel like it's safer for my hair and less damaging than like a tight uh, hair tie. And then they have this really cute baby blue color. I love baby blue. I think this one is so, so cute and they all have that faux suede texture. I was so excited to find this. Had a bunch of these headbands that are like super in trend right now with the little knot on the top. So I got one in blue. It's the same texture as the scrunchies faux suede. So I got the headbands for my daughter because um, it's just easier for her to do her hair in the headbands. And I don't really wear headbands like that. So I just got her the blue one. I got her the pink one and I also got her a purple one. So maybe they had purple scrunchies before, but I didn't see any purple scrunchies. Maybe they were just sold out, but there's a purple headband and this one is really, really cute. This lilac is so cute. I want to like take this off so I can show you guys what it looks like. That's pretty cute, right? I mean, I wouldn't wear these. I think it looks better on little girls and it does feel a little bit shorter. So it does feel like it's for little girls or little heads because I have a big head. So just keep that in mind. But I think these are really, really cute, especially for a dollar. And you know, if she's going back to school this year, um, she's gonna need more more hair accessories. I always like to get her new clothes and new hair accessories for the new year so she can get excited. But I also found this one, and this is still Greenbrier brand, but it has a different, I don't know why they put it on a different kind of tag. But this one I thought could be for me if I wanted to, or me and her can just share it. Probably she'll get more wear out of it than I would, but this is more of a neutral color that I would wear, you know? So this feels more grown up I guess and it's just a white with black stripes and a black with white stripes with a little top knot on the head so decided to pick up these little tiny rubber bands I didn't have any and like today as you can see I have these little cute braids in the front but I didn't put any rubber bands on them because I didn't have the little tiny ones so I got these and I've never seen the neutral color before. So I thought that was pretty interesting for us adults who just want classic colors and not crazy colors because they do have like little pastel ones, which are adorable, but I wouldn't wear them. And then they have clear ones and they have black ones, but I liked these because it can match your hair tone. So there's blonde ones in there, white ones, black ones, and brown ones. So I would use the brown for my hair so that the little rubber band would virtually be indetectable and that's that would be my goal for this kind of hairstyle so i picked these up and it says that they are snag free so i think that's cool then i picked up two products by remington i feel like they've been having a lot of remington stuff there which is really good these were particularly new to me though i've never seen these there and these are bobby pins 45 count and these are the active style. So it has like a coating on it, almost like a rubbery coating that feels like they're not going to slip as much. And the bobby pins I have now are from Dollar Tree and they kind of suck because they do slip out of place. So hopefully these work. And yeah, apparently these are, both, these are supposed to just stay, just stay, feel the difference. And there's like blonde colored ones and brown colored ones. So I picked these up by Remington. I thought that was a really good deal. And I'm always using bobby pins. And also by Remington, I got these Anywhere Hair for hair and wrist decorative hair ties. So I already do have a couple of like, kind of like this same scheme, but like a bigger one. 
and I do like using these for my hair because they don't really make indentations in my hair so if I need to put my hair back but I don't want it to make marks in my hair I use that so these are just skinnier ones and I thought they were really nice and cute and basically I just love these they look like slinkies basically I just love these because they don't leave indentations in my hair as bad as regular hair ties do so you get seven for a dollar there's two brown one black two clear a yellow and a pink look the yellow matches my nails these are super cute i totally forgot i got this from the beauty section so this was a rolling massager and i generally only see this kind of stuff like when the holidays run come around you know like christmas time and it's like a stocking stuffer I feel like I've seen it before, but they had a big box of them this time, and I was like curious as to why they brought them out at a time like this. But this is just a massager. I don't know how it feels, but you know why I got this is because I was thinking I could use it for my thighs. So you know how there's like a dry brushing thing for cellulite, and it helps reduce the look and appearance of cellulite? I was like, what if I could use this? on my thighs to help with the appearance of cellulite. I don't know if it'll work, but I figured I'd give it a try and it's easy to use. This actually feels really good though. And it was just a dollar and I love this color. I love how pink this is. So I figured I would get that. And if anything, I can just rub my husband's back with it because he always wants me to rub his back or scratch his back. So got some Glad trash bags. So the trash can we have right now is 30 gallon and the type of trash can it is the brand that it is has its own trash bags that are at walmart and i don't know how close i am to finishing them so i just picked these up to see if they work just in case like i didn't want to run out all the way to walmart because it's kind of far um it would be nice to know that these ones worked for my trash can so these are 30 gallon trash bags you only get four though because it's 30 gallons so hopefully it works out um just for like when i'm too lazy to go to walmart i just have these as a backup and they have the gain original scent febrige febrige febreze freshness so i picked up one of these and one of these 13 gallon tall kitchen bag quick ties and this has five and i like to use these to do my kitty litter so I keep these ones upstairs to scoop the kitty litter into, and I always need these. Another one of these Weiler's Strawberry Lemonade Light Low Calorie Drink Mixes, because you get 10 for a dollar and it tastes so delicious. It's five calories a packet and two carbs, and this is what makes me drink water. I love it so much. I got more peanuts, more spicy peanuts, Mancheros Spicy Peanuts. Oh, I forgot about these hair care products, you guys. These are brand spanking new. I've never seen these before. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, it's a good thing that I looked behind me when I was in line at Dollar Tree to pay because I almost didn't get these. These are by Bolero and these are hair masks. And I'm so down to try hair masks. Look at how cute these are. The little designs on the top. These are so beautiful. So this one is Charcoal and Mint Detoxing Hair Mask by Bolero. Free of paraffins and dyes. And parabens or paraffins? Parabens. And this is Papaya and Coconut Cream Softening Hair Mask. And it says it's two times concentrating. So I really hope these work for my hair. My hair is damaged as always. And I... I'm about the hair mask, so I really hope that these turn out well. I'm gonna smell them right now. Mmm, charcoal and mint. That it's that smells really good. It's like not too strong of a mint. Oh, I just got it on my nose. That smells good. It's like light, light and fresh. So that is charcoal and mint. Ooh, this one smells really good. That smells really, 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 really good. Okay, so if I go back to Dollar Tree and they still have these, I'll try to get one for you guys in the giveaway. Um, this one is, again, papaya coconut cream. 
Oh, that smells really refreshing, but it's not too overpowering. I kind of wouldn't mind it if it was a little bit more overpowering, but it smells really, really good. These are just so cute. All right, I have a bunch of random like children's stuff um, because my kids were just starting to get really bored and they're just starting to bug me too much and I needed to get them some more supplies so that they could stay busy, okay? Okay, so I got my daughter some books that she can read because she does have a lot of chapter books and she was trying to read them and I just think it was a little bit too advanced for her. So I got her something that's in between. This is by Baby Einstein. Uh, I remember that my little brother, my little sister used to watch those Baby Einstein's videos. And yeah, so this is by Baby Einstein and these are just little books. Apparently, apparently you can go online and there's an app that they can like read along with so i felt like this was in between a baby book and a chapter book so this will be easier for her to read and i got at the park and in the jungle for her so she can do some more reading and i also got her this bambi book so these are really nice the only thing about them is they're so paper thin look at how thin this book is and you have to be careful if you have really young children like toddlers, I told my son not to touch this, that only Mila can touch it because these papers are so thin, which is why it's probably a dollar. It's so thin, like your toddler will just rip this apart. But it has a very nice print on it. It looks very, very cute. And I thought this was a, at a good reading level for her. So I picked this little Bambi book up, so cute. I love Bambi. And then I got some, uh, some coloring books for them because they ran out of all their coloring books. They're all colored in. So we had to get some more. They had SpongeBob there. Only thing is this little guy was ripped on the cover, but the rest of the sheets are fine. So we picked it up and this was the only one, but my kids love SpongeBob. I love SpongeBob too. And so jumbo, jumbo coloring and activity book. And then we got this. Okay, so my daughter wanted this one sacred art and it's just like a more advanced coloring book but she really wants to try oh this is kind of biblical huh that's cute that she picked this one so she wants to use color pencils with this this is like a grown-up coloring book though but she said she wanted to try it out with color pencils instead of crayons because she has a little art kit it looks like stained glass so we got that one and they also had a Ryan's World coloring book. So I figured they could share this one because they both love Ryan from here on YouTube. It's pretty cute. Of course, I had to get them some more crayons because I feel like with kids, their crayons never last. They break, they get lost, and you just always have to get them new crayons when you get them new coloring books. I don't know, that's how my kids are. Let me know if your kids are like that too. So they do have this 16 count by Crayola. So I got them one of these, but then, then I found these and I thought this was pretty cool. This is Disney Pixar's Toy Story 4 crayons. What in the world? How cute is that? 24 crayons. So this is a better deal than the Crayola. And this is by Greenbrier which is pretty cool. Austin also wanted his own book, so we got him this one, Sockheads Colors, and he wanted it because it had the little googly eyes. And yeah, this just talks about the colors, and this is more at his level. I love that my kids love books. I'm really lucky that they like books, honestly. I got this little notebook for myself. I thought this was so cute. I don't know if I need another notebook, but I got it because it's so cute. Um, This is like, I don't know if this is like cheetah print, Dalmatian. I feel like this is Dalmatian. And I've been really liking cow print and Dalmatian print. I think it's so cute. It's got a gold spiraling and this gold thing that says notes. And I just thought this was beautiful. I could not pass it up, 50 sheets cute little notebook that you can maybe keep in your purse or something. So I got that. I got a second second thing of batteries. And they also had these JoJo blind bags. They also had Ryan bl blind bags. Um, so yeah, we got the, their bracelets. So my daughter got these JoJo bracelets. 
<laughs> my son asked for these. <laughs> I just let them go in there and like go wow. I was like, you know what? Mommy got paid today. Get yourself some toys. So we got a bunch of stuff, but he asked for these. These are really funny and random. So I guess you play rock, paper, scissors with these. I don't know. I don't get it, but I just think it's hilarious. And they're like little puppet hands. I don't know. That's so funny. So yeah, I got these magnetic clips for my fridge because I just need more magnets for my fridge. I have so much stuff on there holding on by a thread. It's about to fall down because I don't have enough magnets, but I liked how this has a clip. So it's almost like dual, like you can use the magnet to hold the paper on the fridge and you can clip something to it. These feel really heavy duty. So I got this and you get four for a dollar. My daughter got one of these kind of like Rubik's cubes, but it has fruit on it, which is kind of adorable. And so strawberry, cherries, or is that orange? Oh, no, that's a peach. Peach, pineapple, lemon, watermelon. I just thought that was so cute. And she said that she's seen be these before and she wants to try to use it. So she picked that up. Got a little sketchbook for the kids. They didn't have the one that I normally get. They only had this one or like a really huge one. So I just picked this one up. So it has 50 sheets and it's just a little sketchbook with white paper because my kids love to draw in color. I also got myself some more little gel black pens. And then I got uh, these Westcott all purpose durable stainless steel scissors and these have a five year warranty but this is a good brand bargain bethany always says that these are good i think she says these ones are good i think so i think so but anyways i needed more craft scissors last thing my son got a little soccer ball and they got two toys but they're playing with them outside <laughs> i'm sure you guys are not interested but he got this little soccer ball Anyways, figured I would show you just in case you have kids. All right, y'all. So that was everything for this haul. We are like at 50 minutes. This is insane. So if you guys watch till the end of this video, I want you to put a pineapple in the comments down below to let me know that you watched the entire video. You my ride or die beat. You my ride or die beat. I'm so pumped today. I don't know why I'm so in a good mood right now, but that's a good thing. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and for being here and for always sending positive vibes my way. And I hope that all of you are doing well and safe and happy. Love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.